Howdy folks, welcome to Brain Rotters. There's a lot to look forward to for the finale event coming this Wednesday for What If Episode 9, but Marvel dropped. In the meantime, our first look at What If Gamora was Thanos. I'm going to talk about how that plot line got lost in the mix. I'll explain that and then when to expect the What If Episode 9 trailer and finale predictions as well as some other things, so stay with me on this one. Alright, so we got our first official look at the What If Gamora was Thanos, so, or so the leaks say that's what she is, but her Funko Pop says that she is Gamora, daughter of Thanos. So my thoughts are that in her universe, Thanos trains, raises Gamora, but this time instead of Gamora hating Thanos, Gamora learns to love him as a father. As such, Gamora then joins Thanos in his fight to kill half the universe, thus joining his cause and sharing his motivation to find the stones. In fact, I could see Gamora's whole motivation in this finale event to join the fight with the heroes and the Watcher against Ultron, only if she can have Ultron's stones at the end of the fight. Now as to why she has Thanos' armor and sword. I can see her wearing that because Thanos likely gave it to her, but I think it would be a lot more interesting to see Thanos die in her universe and have that be when Gamora continues on Thanos' journey, kind of picking up the torch, so to speak. I mean, we saw in Infinity War when she killed Thanos, or when she thought she killed Thanos, she was weeping over his dead body. You could argue that it was tears of relief, that she no longer needed to look over her shoulder, but Deep down, it was because Thanos was the only father she ever knew. Point being, if our good Gamora can have a reaction like that, being an estranged daughter of Thanos, imagine how Thanos' death would now impact her if she was closer with him than anyone ever. If she wasn't estranged, if she truly did have a bond with him, imagine the impact. Now, I've seen a lot of people theorizing that her episode, her origin debut episode in What If, was supposed to be the deleted episode where Iron Man flees to Sakaar, and the episode was supposed to have Valkyrie in it too, now, when Iron Man gets there, he quickly realizes that the Grandmaster's champion is not Hulk this time around. It's it's instead Gamora, daughter of Thanos. But as I said, the episode was pushed to season two because they couldn't finish it in time to publish because of COVID halting production last year. Reminds me what happened with WandaVision. All I'll say is that WandaVision's finale was supposed to have an awesome event where Senior Scratchy turned out to be this huge monster that Monica had to fight, and there was none of this Ralph Boner business, but they had to do what they had to do with COVID halting production. Hey, you made it this far, you might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. In any case, that was just a rumor with Gamora being involved in that episode. Obviously, they will make her involvement in the finale smooth somehow and hopefully incorporate her story into the finale seamlessly because, come on, we're all hoping this story, this finale, doesn't share the same 30-minute runtime that the rest of the What If episodes have and instead Dead is at least an hour long because we have so many holes to cover stories to finish and the multiverse you know we have to tease a lot more of that in a post credit scene if not near the end of the episode putting the multiverse in some kind of jeopardy that leads right into the multiverse of madness or no way home or whatever the case lastly tomorrow's trailer should come around 11 a.m like the usual and expect it to show a little more on the multiversal team up that the watcher orchestrates with dr strange supreme and to headline this thanos Gamora that we will get in What If Episode 9. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you all for the massive support. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my trailer breakdown tomorrow for What If Episode 9. Thanks all again for watching. Have a great rest of your day.